Bye. Welcome to Big Book Systems, the best online platform for engineering and architectural tutorial. Kindly like and subscribe for new helpful tutorials on a daily basis. Now I have my Revit architectures here. And of course, in this tutorial, I want to discuss about roof by extrusion. You can see a roof by extrusion is a custom roof that you can design in such a way that you have control over how you want your roof to appear. So I've made a very simple architectural designs. I just go to 3D. And you can see what I've just done. Prepare a camera. And you can see this is cool and okay. So now I want to start with the roof. I'll go to my 3D. One example of roof by extrusions. Go to architecture. Come to this drop down and select roof by extrusion. When you click on roof by extrusion, it asks you to select or specify a plane. I'll say click a plane and I'll say OK. Now I want to use this front wall as my reference plane, so I'll pick it and I'll say OK. And you can see that. Then I can perfect my view, the front view. Let's, let's, let's modify. Try and get that, and then you can see that now. Now that I have this, I can start with my extrusions roof. It's very simple and easy in order for you to achieve your extrusions roof. I have varieties of tools here that I can use in doing that. I have the tangent arc, and I can use a very simple radius arc to achieve my extrusions roof. So, perhaps this is an ellipse as well, and there uh, you can see I have another ellipse here. So, but I'll use spline in order to do this. So, how do I do that? I can select my spline. I have different type of extrusions roof that I can do. Let's try and trace that patch at a simple distance of about, uh, let's say, 1500. I can click. But that, sometimes it is very essential for you to define distance in between your creations. But I'm not doing that here. I just want to have something so I can have this. Just try and then. Now, no matter what you create, no matter how poor it is, the beauty of this is that splines allows you to have full control over your creation. So just continue to create. You can, at the end of the day, modify everything. Because I'm using the spline tools. Here we go. I'm done. I can right click and then that's that. Now I yeah, just click on modify once. Then I'll select this spline. So now I can start controlling the vertices. So I can push this. I want to have more defined. Uh, so I just try and then take this point so that it can give you the result that you so desire. Always. So you can see that uh, it is very easy for me to modify the entire output. That's cool. I can do this and use it to create any type of deformative types of roof that I want to have. Just make sure you specify a, a good plane. You can always have your results just like this. This is cool. Now you can see that 
Having done that, you still have more great flexibility to do whatever that you want to do. I'm oh, stopping you from doing that. Let's make sure that uh, the height are well maintained. Now that we have this, all I need to do is I can go to 3D. You can see that I've created shape. Then I'll just say finish. And look at that. That's cool. One of the things that we must understand is that if I should go to this right view, my roof is starting exactly at the edges of the building, which is not cold enough. So while the roof is selected, come to start extrusion, do a value like about uh, 600. Move your mouse out and see the effect. You can see that now. Push it out by 600. Then end extrusion should go up to negative 13,000 to add 600 to this as well. So we'll go to negative 13,000. And you can see that. And that's a simple technique on how you can create an extrusion roof. Now there are different types of extrusion roof you can create. All you just need to do is to trace the so-called an empty space trace the so-called uh, I'm going to drop the height of the roof the so-called the work plane immediately you're able to locate the work plane you're good to go just get that camera view and you can see that's my roof now I want to understand that uh, let me take the shaded mode I want to know that this roof there's no ceiling there there's Let's watch my class on how you can input your ceiling. So select one of the wall. Go to 3D view here. Now, you can see that I needed to close all this point up to meet up with my roof. Let's, let's just uh, go to shaded mode. So to, meet, to do that, I'll just orbit my design first. Now, I'll select one of the wall. When you select the wall, at the upper right, you can see attach top base and detach top base. Select attach top base. Pick your roof. It automatically join and do the cleanup for you. You can see that it's cool now. Then you do that to the other part of the entire building. So let me just quickly complete that. Fine, and you can see I was able to achieve all this. That is quite interesting. I believe if you enjoy this video class, please kindly just hit the subscribe button. It helps us a lot to make more helpful tutorials on daily basis. Thank you.